Hi, I'm Elsa and this is my presentation for the University of Bristol's inaugural Open Research Prize. I'm going to share my screen for the presentation. Great. Maybe stories are just data with a soul. I love this quotation by researcher storyteller Brene Brown. And I'm going to use it to share with you our research on the power of sharing stories to mitigate volcanic risk. So today we're going to travel to Volcán de Fuego in southern Guatemala. This volcano has frequent eruptions whose hazards affect the people and communities around it, such as those you see in the foreground here. But despite these frequent eruptions and a prominent self-evacuation policy, Many people do not leave their communities when the volcano is having a large eruption. Having studied this volcano for years during my PhD, I was curious as to why this was happening. What was the missing story? And so in 2018 and 2019, as part of my PhD, I visited communities around the volcano to hear of unheard voices from these local residents to try and understand the missing story. And in the course of this research, we made some really interesting discoveries. First of all, that people in different communities around the volcano had very different experiences of the hazards that came from eruptions and as such related differently to re more recent activity, including whether they evacuated or not. There was a very interesting element of culture in some communities in the way they related to the volcano. And also in the way that different communities um, communicated with and related to scientists responsible for monitoring the volcano was a huge factor in determining whether people evacuated or not. Now we thought that this research was really interesting and valuable and we're keen to widen its reach while maintaining the integrity of our results. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we looked at publishing in an open access paper, specifically, sorry, journal, specifically one that was diamond open access, that is free to publish, free to access, and free to read. And that journal we chose was Volcanica, an excellent journal that was of very high integrity and allowed us to do things such as share a second language abstract in Spanish, which was the language the research was conducted in, and also to share fully our methods, such as the questionnaires that guided our interviews. These questionnaires we were able to share in both English and again in Spanish. Well, we were also keen to widen the research reach outside of the academic community, both to um, non-specialists and also people who might be outside of Guatemala but have um, find the results relevant. So there were several ways in which I did this. First of all, I wrote a plain English summary of the research and its results that is available on an open blog post that would be easily understandable to non-specialists um, interested in the research. Second of all, I participated in a podcast with members of the newly formed Chilean volcanic, Volcanological Group. This was in order to share the research to the wider Latin American volcanological community who might find the results pertinent to their country. And finally, and most importantly, it was key to share the research with the people who had contributed to it, namely the local residents. And this image shows a piece of paper that I shared with all the residents with whom I uh, communicated during the research. And it provides contact details so that they were able to access the results of the research and also keep in touch after the project had ended. And I'm pleased to say that several years later, I'm still in touch with several of these people. So maybe stories are just data with a soul, but we can bring this soul into really robust academic research that is accessible to everybody. Thank you very much for your attention.